Hello, I'm Anna, a technical customer support agent here at the AWS office in Dublin. Today, I'm going to show you how to avoid charges while you're using the AWS free tier. Let's get started. First, let's understand what the AWS free tier is and what offer options are available to you. The AWS free tier is an opportunity provided to all new customers to explore many AWS services at no cost. There are currently three types of free tier offerings. Free trials. AWS offers a free trial for some services, a usage limit that varies depending upon the service. For example, Amazon SageMaker and Amazon Redshift have two months of free trial, while Amazon LightSail offers three months. Just remember that you must also stay within the usage limits of each service. 12 months free. Finally, we have services that are available under the free tier offer for 12 months after the account activation. Among those services are Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud, Amazon Simple Storage Service, Amazon Relational Database Service, and many others. Again, you must stay within the usage limits established for each service. Always free. As the name states, your usage within usage limits will always be free and will never expire. Now that we know the types of free tier offers available, let's learn how to check the usage limit of each service. To do this, just search for the resource on the AWS free tier list and then check their specifications. For example, let's find out more about the Amazon EC2's free tier usage limits. First, while on the free tier page, let's search for EC2. Then, hover your pointer on the little arrow pointing down under the service name to find out more about its free tier usage offer. As you can see, the EC2 free tier offer currently covers the following usage limits per month. 750 hours per month of Linux, RHEL or SLES T2 micro or T3 micro instance, depending upon your AWS region. 750 hours per month of Windows T2 micro or T3 micro instance, depending upon your region. What this means is, that if you launch a T2 micro or a T3 micro instance, your first 750 hours of the instance are free of charge. However, if you use any instance other than the T2 micro or T3 micro instances, you aren't covered by the free tier offer and on-demand charges will accrue. This also means that if you use more than 750 hours of the covered instances, whether T2 micro or T3 micro, the number of hours exceeding the 750 hours will also be charged at an on-demand rate. Next, let's see how to check the number of hours you've used so far on a given month. First, log into your AWS Management Console and navigate to the billing dashboard. Scroll down on your dashboard until you see your spend summary, which shows your costs for the last month, month to date, and month end forecast. Under Billing, in the navigation pane on your left, choose Free Tier. This shows you the service used, the usage limit under Free Tier, and also how much of that limit you've already used in the current month. It's that easy. Because you don't want to incur in any costs when using AWS Free Tier, it's a best practice to turn on AWS Free Tier Usage Alerts to automatically notify you by email when you exceed 85% of your free tier limit for each service. Here's how you can set AWS free tier usage alerts up. Under Preferences in the navigation pane on your left, choose Billing Preferences. Select the box Receive AWS free tier usage alerts to opt in to free tier usage alerts. If you want to include another email to receive these usage alerts, just enter it in the email address box. Doing this will make sure that you're always notified by email when you're coming close to exceeding any free tier limit. Finally, to avoid reaching the free tier usage limit and incurring charges, let's see how to check the resources that are active on your account and also see how to terminate the ones that you are no longer using. To check for active resources, let's again begin at your AWS Billing Console. 
In the navigation panel, on your left, choose Bills, and then view all the services used during the month. You can choose each plus sign to expand the service and the regions where the services are launched in for more details. Now, let's see how to terminate any of the resources currently active on your account. Open the AWS Management Console. Open the console for the service that contains the resources that you want to terminate, such as Amazon EC2. You can also find any service by entering its name in the search bar. After opening the service console, terminate any resource. Make sure you have the correct region selected in the navigation bar. And now you know how to avoid charges while you're using the AWS free tier. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.